So today what we're going to do is, it's simple, we're going to talk about timing, we have a little bit of footwork to get you started on, uh, and then we're going to do, we do a spin with a catch, and we've been working outside turns a lot in our classes, uh, so we'll talk about that shit, okay? So, uh, well, let's just do a move for you, so those who just want patterns can get the hell out of here. And a shout out to Seattle, because we just found out that we're popular there. Yeah. Well, it's funny, I got a great story real quick before we start, uh, is... Uh, <laughs> is yeah, we had a, a, a great guy, uh, a, a friend of mine, student, who was in Vegas, and he uh, uh, had people say, uh, asked if they knew us because, so, you know, from Reno. And so I want to give a shout out to Vegas. So Vegas, thank you for being supportive uh, of us. And then Seattle, uh, so we don't know your names, but uh, uh, great, great uh, things happened in Seattle where they're showing our videos and our uh, YouTube channel to people. and saying that they should do what we talk about. And I think that's super, super cool, because uh, they showed it to one of our former one of our students. One of our students, again, that game. He was visiting, and he told us about that story. So, so anyways, we just want to give a shout out to everybody. All, we have a lot of people throughout the world. And uh, please, everyone, if you're watching this stuff, subscribe to it, because the more subscriptions we get, the more stuff that gets out there, and you can see more. OK, cool. So now can we do it? I think so. All right, cheers. <laughs> Wait, that's fine. <laughs> you saw that. So, anyways, all right. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so let's do the move. Now, for those who know us, and if you're new to us, uh, uh, we give you a lesson. This is your private lesson for the week. So we'll do the move, and then we'll talk about my stuff. All right. So he's the chica. I'm the dude. All right. So, all right. so wait, room. Yeah. Is the catch going to happen here? Yeah. So we have a sugar push. To, and we go wide on the sugar, we'll talk about that, and we're going to do footwork, so we'll try that again, <laughs> I totally forgot, so, <laughs> two, three, four, five, and six, kick and step, three, and four, and then we're going to go into an outside turn, and we're going to do a catch, shit, okay, good, we're going to do that catch again, he's just a beast, and then we're going to add a bonus, coming around, okay, we're a little tight on our space, so, so that probably sucked, didn't it? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Inside spin, pick up, man spin, and come around. Now that man spin's a bonus. We didn't teach that in class, and if we get to it today, we'll, we'll get it done. Okay, cool. So, what are we talking about? Oh, the feet. Oh. Okay, so real simple. This is just a, uh, I call it a kick out. Uh, I'm sure there's a name. Uh, I, I, it comes from, well, I learned it in Shag, um, and Mr. Matt will tell us it's from. Lindy, Lindy Hop. Hop. Yeah. <laughs> if you take it big, it becomes a flying Charleston if you're doing a swing out with it. Um, Shag probably stole it from Lindy Hop and <laughs> condensed it down because that's what Shag does. Shag's cooler. <laughs> and then West Coast took it from Shag and re-expanded it because that's what West Coast swing does. So, so when we do this kick out, all it is, all it is, uh, for leaders, it's your left foot, ladies, it's your right foot. It's on the one. We're just going to extend the leg out. And it's no way. And this is the hardest part because people do this and transfer weight. That's not, that's a Lindy thing, right? Uh, if I was going to do just a basic, the flag Charles is actually super oh, okay. well, What's the basic? The, the basic would, would be a yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a rock step. So, so, so we go tap, if you will, and step. Okay, so count wise it's one and two. So we're going to go one and two. All right, so be sure that's a straight leg. Try not to hit a flex leg like that. This is straight and two. All right. Now, we're also pulling our centers back, so we want to create uh, our pelvic floor. Basically, just lift your sit bone back over your heel. That should be your normal. And so, one thing we have to talk about before we do a, a, a this is basically a kick ball change, if you will, um, is normally on a basic, normal, basic, basic, uh, I'm a leader, sorry, is we would not lower the heel until the end of the six. So, if we did a basic shirt push, 
One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one. Okay, now what I do as a guy is I don't lower my heel until I've exited, okay? Uh, but that's the, so basically your hand beat is what you want to think about to make it simple. And, but on a kick out or a kick ball change, we do a kick ball change, we don't lower the heel until the one. Okay, because kickball change, we're doing a delayed rhythm, so I'm not, if I drop my heel down too early, it's really hard, and your kick becomes just your leg doing it. So, so you want to be sure your center is doing all the work, and so if you wait until one, then it'll look better. So it goes one, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, and two, and you notice that we both uh, kept the heel off the floor until the one, and we did our kick. So when we do the kick out, <laughs> it's a shaker, but it works the same. That's there. So, so as we do the kick out, same deal. Four, five, and six. One and two. So we delay our heel. We'll do it again here in a sec. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm focusing on something else. Five and six. One. Okay. So that should be super, super easy for you. You'll, you see that our hips are lifting, our sit bone is lifting up. Uh, there's more to it. It's pelvic floor and all this stuff that. You know about right now. Uh, what else? All right. So uh, we have an angle on that footwork too. Yes. Yeah, so let's talk about the footwork. We didn't talk about the footwork for the pre -sitting. We did not. Okay. Let's talk about the footwork. <laughs> so, so um, you do the followers part footwork going uh, away, facing the blue wall. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll, I'll do the, the man's work. Not the leaders' footwork because I don't think these women upset for the cold. So, anyways, so what are we doing? Shirt push. Yeah, we'll do All right, so we're going to do a shirt push. We'll do the whole shirt push and we'll stop on four. Ready? Go. So it goes one, two, three, and four. Now, what we're going to do, we're not going to put an angle right this second. We're just going to do a pressure step because remember, uh, triple step is a uh, partial full delay. So we're going to do a partial weighted foot, partial full weighted, and then a delay of lowering that heel. All right? So now we're going to do this with a little bit of an angle. So when I hit my, when we hit our four, we're going to just put a little bit of an angle here. But I'm going to create most of the angle on the side step or the partial weighted foot. So I'm going to turn my hips. Remember, it's your hips that turn, not your feet. And you're going to turn your hip, and you're going to go partial full delay. Now, if you notice what we do on the on the full weight, we bring our foot underneath us. So so he does his, I'll do mine, and I go. We go partial. We bring the foot underneath us because that's where our center weight is, and so that's where you want your body. Your foot, and right. then you cross over and delay. Cool. Now, when you do a kick out, uh, or what do you want to call it, you want to feel that your calf of your front leg is at the shin of your back leg. And when you'll notice, we'll turn sideways, you'll notice that my our front leg is bent. And so when we straighten, when you do that delay, we kick it out. So I call it a kick out. Could be called something else. I don't know what it's called in shot, I forgot. But, anyways, that legs, but if I go here, Five and six, I don't have anything to use. Or if I go five and six, I don't have anything to use. And so I'm just doing my leg. Cool. So just be sure you put pressure across your legs to kick it out. Uh, so let's just do it. And one, two, three, and four. Angle and cross, kick and step. Cool. All right. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. All right. Nobody asking me to them. So, uh, <laughs> so, so the outside turn. Wait, which one's mine? The one that doesn't have a bunch of stuff about these. Pardon me, I was parched. <laughs> We're in the middle of Nevada, where it's all these friggin' fires in California. Thank you, California! Alright, so... <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have to deal with the smoke. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so we have an outside turn. Now guys, let's talk about outside turns for a second. The leaders. So, Matt and I both do it. So, um, preps are, typically preps are always overdone. Guys, I'm going to tell you, no matter what you're doing in your prep right now, you can probably do less. Okay? Uh, so, let's show the face of the camera. So, so, if our hand is on our left slot, uh, rail, excuse me, left rail, and we were just doing a basic walk back, just a basic walk, so, so the shift weight, my body rotates to the right, my hand follows it naturally, just a little bit. Okay? So, if this is my left rail, my hand will go almost a third of the way into the rail, into the slot. Okay? So that's really all the prep you need. 
Okay, so if I'm gonna do an inside roll or an inside turn to the left, I go, that's enough prep for that, and then I create a bigger prep, the one she's gonna use. Okay, so if I'm gonna do an outside turn, I'm gonna create a J hook. Okay, so I like the J hook because uh, it's how I learned the whips when I first started. Mm -hmm. uh, then we went to compression, now I do a little comp uh, we do a little hybrid of it. Because uh, we're always trying to keep, create the slack, uh, keep the slack away from our partner. And so when we do this J-hook lead, I'm not doing this. Okay, that's what people do when they learn it, but it's not what we do. We have that same rotation. So my, my hip, my base, if you will, is rotating. It's actually my leg rotating. And then the arm takes over. So I start everything with my body and finish it with an arm. So it's a rotary lead, not a linear lead. Okay, so a linear lead would be would be basically just going like this. And then to lead a linear lead to ask a rotation is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But I learned it that way and did it that way for a long time and realized that didn't make sense to me. Right. So if things don't make sense to you, it's probably wrong. It feels weird, it is weird. Okay? <laughs> so so I gotta stop putting a balloon in my shoes. Because <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> is that weird? Right to me. Is that weird? <laughs> so, okay, so we're doing a J-hook thing. Now, because we're doing an outside turn, just remember, in order to, to go out, you have to go in first. So if we're just doing a sugar tuck, with the basic sugar tuck, we go out to go in to go out, okay? So now we're going to do the same thing for this outside turn. We'll turn this way. All right, so we're both doing the leader's part, obviously. So we're going to do, uh, for right now, we'll just do a basic underarm turn for both. Okay, okay so we're going to go one, Come up, okay, so you've rotated your chest. Now it's a leader down the four guys, it's an oval shape. And remember that when I leave the oval, my arm and my elbow go down the floor, okay? It is not a circle. If you're doing a circle, she's not gonna go anywhere. So my forearm and my elbow send her down the floor. And anyone who tells you that you don't use an arm in a, in a, in a turn has never led a turn. But you don't start your arm, you finish it. It's your follow through. Right. It's just like if I'm about to hit Matt, I'm not going to just hit him like this because there's no punch behind that. But if I do this, it works. Right. There. So, so right. the idea is I finish. Well, so as I finish, well, I so as go through this, I create a rotary lead. So I'm going to go one, two, down the floor, back to me, down the floor. And you'll notice that we're both finishing. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to understand something, guys, about this turn. This is not a, a flat. Turn, it's an oval that goes upwards. It's an angle, so it goes up because your head's over there. All right, so I hope that makes sense. We'll do it towards the camera one last time. And we'll go here, we're going one, two, down the floor, okay? Guys that do their outside turns like this, I'm sorry, I don't dig it. Doesn't make any sense to go like this with your arm the whole way, unless you want her to go slow. That's yeah. it, that's a different time. But for this tuck it, you go. All right, so that's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. So uh, what else? What else? What else? There was something about that turn. We talked to the girls eat a little bit last night. Yeah, you know, we need to do a turns uh, a video. I keep talking about it. We're so pressed for time. But um, girls, when you're doing your outside turn, uh, when you hear girls, when you hear them say, just bring your feet close together, they're telling you to do a Sinead turn. I, 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 I'm not a big fan of the Sinead turns, but they do work. I do, a, I do, we do a spiral and a three-step turn because it's more musical, at least for me. Uh, so I'll show them to you. And so if we're doing the Sinead turn, Sinead turns you can do a few different ways. Some I've seen in first position and some I've seen in third position. And uh, um, Amanda, was your girlfriend, is, she's a ballerina, and so she said third position, so she would probably do it, I think. Yeah, I mean, if you're not in ballet, right. there's no so, one being here. So, so as you're here, you're going to go, so as you're doing your outside turn girls, you're going to go one, two, so the feet are a bit apart on them two because he hasn't turned you yet. He's rotated you, but he hasn't turned you yet. So you're going to bring your feet together three and four. So you're going to step out on four. That's important that you go that way forward on four. Okay? So, so if we do it again, so we got, we're doing okay. again. Shanae. Yeah, so we're going to go one, to together, together, walk out. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, the first turn, just so you know, is a spiral turn, but you don't need to worry about that. I'll just show it to you real quick. Uh, it's, not, it's not much different, it's just how I feel when I do it. So it goes one, two, three, and, okay, whoops, sorry, my foot. 
four. So that was my injury foot. Sorry. Um, so, anyways, it doesn't look much different to, but surely it's different how I do my tapping. So, um, but I hope it makes sense. Just bring your feet together on the three and. Just remember, and is synonymous with together. All right. So the thing that I always preach to all of my follows is that um, my and beat is my turning beat. My feet have to be together. Uh -huh. So if you want to travel, I always do an open close open, oh, which is essentially what we did here. We were open. We closed, we open, we closed, we open. So you can do that, or you could remain in a close the whole time. But what we see, which is what's going to throw you off, is if you're in an open the open. whole time. Yeah, that's the what, that's what most people do. Uh, so that's learn, what we need to learn. kind of yeah, learn. curve. So your feet can be closed the whole time. They can go open, close, open, close. Make sure that the close is when you're doing the turn. Right. Um, but open, open, open will knock you off balance and yeah. make everything harder. There's something real important to remember, uh, leaders and followers, that you can only do one of two things. You can either A, travel, or B, turn. That's it. You cannot do them both at the same time. And that's the, the, the delusion that you're doing both. You're going to go one, turn, step, turn, step, turn, step, turn. All right? Cool, yes, yes? Practice. All right, uh, what else, what else? Uh, we what? had a catch. Oh shit, yeah, we had a catch. Okay. <laughs> so guys, on this catch, girls, by the way, on your turns, that's what we're talking about, on your turns, girls, I want your, L we want, okay, in ballet class, I am not a great baller, uh, ballet dancer, uh, but I did study for a long time, but we have these beautiful arms, and there's a there's a, an opposition in your arm where the, the ballet, uh, the dancer's arms come outward, they roll, I, I exaggerate, it's opening a little bit, that's not really open. But it has an opposition in your arm. It's not just here. People just go, here's my arms, and that's those are dead arms, weak. Um, so the the idea is to create an opposition in your own arm. It actually comes from your center. You lift your pelvic floor, which is bring your sit bones back. You lift up, and it's from your back. Your arms are extension your back. Blah blah blah. Okay. But in swing, uh, the reason why I teach this is because I had a girl who was in a contest one time, and she was doing a turn, and she had her fingers like this. And her sh her finger got caught in my shirt, and I um, I felt horrible. It wasn't anybody's fault. It just happened. And I'm like, okay, I'm never gonna let a girl uh, do their turns with the fingers open. Uh, oftentimes, when girls do turns, watch my left hand where it goes. They go here, and you end up doing your turns like this. Okay, so everything's closed up, and that's then don't do that. So so what I started teaching is uh, roll the wrist inward. Okay, not a lot. I can't look at your watch or anything. But you're going to roll it inward, so you want to feel an opposition in your arm. And so when I'm doing a single, uh, doing a turn with my arm, so my arms are right here, right below my sternum, okay, not up here, okay. So but definitely not down there. So as I go into the turn, my arm is here. Now you'll notice, followers, that my arm there's uh, I'm holding my orange underneath there, holding, squeezing that orange a little bit, and so my fingers are curved. You can see that because now if there's something were to happen. I'm not going to get caught on my partner's shirt, okay? Okay. So, so I'm sorry. So as we go into that turn again, my arm is here. Now, if he wants to catch it, he can catch it at any time. It's always available. It doesn't matter what turn I'm doing. Inside turn is exactly the same. So if he does this, he does this, he does this move. My arm is going to be available for him because I made it available, and he stopped. And as soon as I feel the stop, followers, I, I'm on, because I spend more time on my press leg, my my left leg, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to press into my right foot. But if I'm falling, it's going to suck because if I fall, <laughs> I'll catch you. <laughs> if I'm just falling off my feet, <laughs> it turns into a shitty basket. But <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that was pretty good. Uh, so the idea is get all your balance over your foot. So like, I always, by the way, girls, extra tip. Uh, pull your head back away. Never take your face into a turn. Pull your head away from turns at all times. And your intention is to keep your body weight over your left foot. So as you go, left hip, excuse me. And so I go to here, I press. Okay, now, I feel his uh, forearm on my back. That is actually what's stopping. So I'm turning until that forearm says don't turn anymore. Now what happens, he brings me back through. Now guys, you do this by rotating yourself to the left. So girls, you're gonna follow that rotation, okay? Now guys, the top hand's gonna to take over the lead, creating a basic inside turn. Super duper easy, it's super easy. So let's do it one more time, we'll call it a day here. This is a long video. Am I leading you? Yeah, outside turn. <laughs> so it's one, two, here, come in, boom, then anchor step out, okay? So, that makes sense? I hope it does, that's a lot.
Yeah. So, um, guys, thank you for watching this whole video. I hope you did. And if you didn't, you're not going to learn the secret. You know the secret? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. That's a damn good secret. <laughs> but don't keep it a secret, guys. We want to we grow our community. We do this for you because we love this. This is a labor of love for us. We don't get paid for this. Um, but uh, we, we really want your comments, and anything you want us to do, we will do it if you, uh, dance-wise? Within reason, yeah. Yes, within reason. Um, if, uh, let us know. Okay, so. Shout out to whoever wanted to put lotion on. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bill, shout out to you. All right, everybody, have an awesome, awesome day, and as always, be a good human. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was the worst. <laughs>